Additionally, numerous empty bags commonly used for drug distribution were found, along with cash totaling over $49,000. 49 bands? What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Take Street, coming back again with another video. And today, it's about the title. We'll be reacting to Cold Blue Cam, How a Drug Dealer's Worst Fear Came True. If you're a new subscriber or new viewer, hope you enjoy what I do. This is a reaction channel. To all my returning people, thank you for tuning in to another video. Let's get right into it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In June 2023, police received several tips concerning the illicit sale of drugs in the area of Coon Valley, Wisconsin. Based Coon on information obtained Valley. from a reliable source, 33-year-old well, well, well. Stanley Holt and 39-year-old Julia Lloyd were allegedly involved with trafficking significant amounts of methamphetamine and fentanyl throughout La Crosse, Vernon, and Monroe counties in Wisconsin, as well as in Houston County in Minnesota. Additionally, there were reports suggesting that Julia was expecting to receive a large amount of fentanyl in the mail. Following this, deputies and investigators from various law enforcement agencies were called upon to aid the La Crosse Police Department in executing a search warrant at the suspect's residence in Coon Valley, Wisconsin. For safety concerns and to prevent evidence tampering, police opted to contact Stanley and Julia away from their residence before conducting the search warrant. Stanley has a history of evading law enforcement, resisting arrest, and violent confrontations with officers. Mm. Furthermore, he was on probation for offenses, including possession with intent to distribute amphetamine, resisting Bruh. arrest resulting in officer injury, and armed burglary. He was also released from prison in early 2022 after serving time for drug charges. On June 12th, during oh, surveillance, so an investigator observed Stanley leave his residence and follow another vehicle to a village park, where a male from See, the other vehicle entered Stanley's before leaving. Later, a deputy noticed Stanley and the unidentified male parked on a roadside, likely engaging in a drug deal. When the deputy approached, they quickly got back into the car. Hey, I'm out with the vehicle here, ATM 4222 on lane. Where's the video like you shot in 1963? A traffic stop was then initiated, during which Stanley pulled into a random driveway. As the deputy approached Stanley's vehicle, he claimed he was having car problems. Oh, your car's acting up. Well, it looks like a nice car. Uh, it's all right. Gotcha. Cool. All right. That's a cool car. It's got some electric problems. You guys live up here somewhere? I live right here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. I actually need to talk to you about something about some dogs. Can you come back here and talk with me real quick? Dogs? Yeah. Yep. Just come back here and talk with me quick. 15. I'm going to be up with that party here. You guys got some pit bulls? We have. I got one. He's got like tumors all over him. Your pit bull does? Okay. He's, he's old. He's 14. Gotcha. Okay. He, 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 he has these, uh... Yeah. Actually, here, Stan. He has these, here. um... I, I need you to turn around put your hands behind your back for a second, okay? Yep. Huh? Yep. You're being really cool, but I just need to chat. We just need to detain you for a second here, okay? What? Because I told you to. Turn around behind what? your... What? We have some stuff we need to talk with you about, okay? Huh? What are you talking Stanley, about? turn around and put Who your hands behind that? your back. Who is that? Stanley, I'm not going to keep telling you. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. What are you talking about? Stanley? Stop. Stanley, turn around and put your hands behind your oh, back. Ready, Do it bro. now. Stanley. Stop or I'm going to tase you. Taser, taser, Why taser. is he running so slow? Oh, oh that did not affect him at all. Oh, yes, he did. Okay. 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 You again. Behind your back. Okay. Behind your back. Then behind your back. What about the dude in the car? Behind your back. You're okay. gonna get it again. Okay. Behind okay. your back. Bring your hands behind, behind your back. back. Do it okay. now. Behind your back, Stanley. Get the guy in the other car. Okay. Okay. Then put your hand behind you your back. You you put your hand behind your back. Stop, Stop. trying to fight, Stanley. It's mouth. <laughs> Due to his continued resistance, an additional 50,000 volts were kindly provided. Hey, I can't breathe. Put your hands behind your back. Put it behind your back. I can't breathe. Put it behind your back. Taser, oh taser, taser. Oh, taser. Oh, taser. Oh, taser. Oh, put your hands behind your back. Ooh, I know that hurts. Put your hands behind your back. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Stop oh. fighting, Stan. This is not going to help I'm gonna you. Run. I'm going to cycle it again if you don't put oh. your hands behind your back. Quit being stupid. Please don't. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Oh! I can't stop. 
15 log guy. I'm good. Two taser deployments and uh, one. I'm not two. doing nothing. Hey. Can you get out? Just don't move. Stop okay, moving. Hey guys. Damn it. Let me breathe. Okay. Then stop trying to pull away from us. I'm not. I'm cool. Come on. I'm fing handcuffed. I'm not going anywhere. Probes. Stanley, can we remove this probe from your side? What? Can we pull yeah. this other probe out? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Figured you wouldn't I, care, but we like to ask. I didn't know what was still in there. Okay. Here, help me out. Just hold on, buddy. Sit, Just sit up. Sit on your butt. I can't yeah, breathe. Right there. Right there. Uh, uh, Jesus. Do you have any weapons on you? Yo. The second male occupant was also taken out of the vehicle and arrested. Can I have you come back and sit on this seat here? Why'd you try to run? I'm trying to see the rest of the investigation, no cap. Jogging? He's just all of a sudden it's, wants it's to freaking run. You're, you're getting a little sketched out, Stan. Huh? I can you tell you're getting a little sketched out. Dogs. Yeah? Yeah, no, for real. You did ask him about his dog. Right. Yeah, we're just going to sit here for right now, okay? Yeah, I smoked my cigarette. Uh, not right now. What? Maybe you're a cop or a stand. We finally had a cop right? say no to smoke a cigarette. I was, I was talking to him, and then he told well, me to put, put my hands back behind my back yeah. for no reason. Stan, I'm just going to look at you, make sure there's no other probes in you anywhere, okay? You feel any anywhere? Yeah. You got anything in your pockets that we need to know about, Stan? I'm going to just double lock the check the these and make sure they're double down. locked so they don't get tightened up on here, okay? All right, here, give me a second. I'll try to loosen it just a teeny little bit. Just hold still. You don't need to do anything. Got to stay hydrated. Out, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll explain it all. You're going to find all about it in a second here. Who's the other guy? Do you know what the other guy is? I think he was doing a delivery because they met down in the park. Yep. Hopped into his car and took a ride. Sitting up the stop sign. Pulling in. Yeah. And I'm trying to look down. <laughs> the lead investigator on this case is not here right now. Okay. So it's going to be just a little bit. Okay. You got some in the car? I didn't know they were up there already. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just I found that out. I'm okay. not going to run. We got to see. Okay, let's Well, you already did it oh, once. Yeah. It is really tight. Well, we can maybe try to adjust them in a minute, but you haven't made this easier for yourself. This could have been real calm, real chill. What? Here, actually, I don't understand. why don't we just use this car here? Yep. I'm just going to search quick. Yep. Yeah, that's why, that's why I told you you were just being detained. Stan, I'm going to check your pockets here quick, okay? Okay. Go ahead. A search was conducted on Stanley, and a large roll of cash totaling more than $2,500 was discovered. Yo, Stanley, let me hold go something real quick, car. man. Yeah, quite a bit of cash here. I don't really want that. Do you got like a bag or something? Do you got a bag or something I can put? Uh, I'll, yeah, we'll grab one. I just don't want your stuff, your money what to blow away. What about his woman? Are going to go get her or what? Happens. I know you're being cool. She's probably cool. Give us a second. That's something we can maybe talk here. I don't have a lighter for you right now, okay? When we finish searching your stuff and well, pockets, and once we find a lighter, maybe we can let you have one. You got any weapons or anything anywhere? No, no weapons, man. How about in the car? No. Okay. I appreciate that, but you did once already, so now you know we gotta like make sure it doesn't happen again. Right? But you don't want to get tased again, right? Yeah, that <laughs> yep, I'm just checking your pockets here because you're gonna go in the back of my car and I don't want anything back there that shouldn't be there. Or any weapons or guns or anything like that. You guys didn't read me any rights. You're not being arrested. Well, at least you weren't before. You're just being detained. Yeah. Detained, yep. What? That means we were gonna hang out a little bit and I was gonna place you in handcuffs for both of our safety until somebody who needs to talk to you could get here. You got anything in your shoes at all? Oh, you freak me out. Like, oh. So Sorry, how is that safe for the, I think I, before we have you sit in my car, though. I can, I can see for the officer's standpoint. Off. How can that what? be safe for the person? Got, you're, no, we aren't going to let them fall off. We just don't want to mess anything. So, you're asking me about my dogs. Mm-hmm. So what's about the dogs? Do, back up. What's that? Oh. You got a couple of shirts on there. You got. Before we go in the car, I'd like you to humor me and just kick your shoes off for me. Like, we'll let you put them back on. I just want to make sure there's nothing in there. I've had a, I've had a couple of bad experiences with that. So, yeah, we're just checking. So all you guys showed up for what? To talk to. Let's put your foot in there. I, I promise it's gonna all be explained to you here shortly. Okay? You just gotta just kind of bear with us. All right? Everything takes a little time. We're gonna take a walk over here real quick and just have a seat in the back of my car for a minute. 12 got 12 cars out there. Let's go on the passenger side. I can detain somebody if I have a reason, and I did. 
with the reason, sir. We can talk about it. Just right. have a seat for me right now, okay? You guys really ain't gonna let me smoke a cigarette? Please. I never said that. If I'm you, not right I'm this being... time. If you keep being really cool and cooperative, I'll go see where your cigarettes went, okay? And then we'll talk, we'll see about it in a little bit. But right now, I'd like you to sit in my car for me, okay? I mean, it's super cool. I, know I tell you what, if you sit there, yeah. we'll light up a cigarette and you can smoke it and you can sit with your feet out of the car and just sit on the seat there. Will that work for you? I promise. I promise. Go ahead and sit down for me. But obviously, we're not taking the cuffs off. Yep, yeah, yeah the cuffs right have now. to stay on. But I if you know. sit down, yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to fall over. Okay, just sit right there. Out there. Yeah, we'll in there too. I saw one. Otherwise, hey, I got one. Of you do have to sit down for me, yeah, all right? Okay. That's part of the deal. A canine unit was then deployed on his vehicle, resulting in a positive alert. Oh. In a trunk. In a, a trunk. excitement you didn't probably expect today, huh? <laughs> I don't know how long you guys will be. We'll you get, might have to leave here. Right? Right, we have a tow truck coming, so we'll get it out of here okay. as soon as we can. Yeah. And then we can move our cars. I mean, we can get around it here, yeah. too. Whatever you need us to move, let us know we can move it. No, that's fine. I'm just, just letting her know what's going on. Okay. Here, I got one in my car. Here, I'll grab one out of the front here, quick. Yeah, they just oh, ended up no blowing away. So that blows my mind every time. I expect them to come here. <laughs> Good, Bobby? Yeah. Maybe Matt, how? You got it. Matt's just better at lighting up smokes than I am. Yeah. Yep. We're just gonna hang out, and we're not gonna have any more problems. When you, not a bag of these cars, but like cigarettes. You gotta understand, I've been arrested a few times, and okay. yeah, they know. it's like some PTSD. A little PTSD. So they get them under you, take off running. I don't know. When when I when we crested the hill, Rich and I, they were on the ground fighting the two burning guys and the target, and uh, I ran over there, and he's on his stomach, but he wasn't giving his hands. So I gave him a couple of warnings, taser warnings, didn't do it, so I got him right in the back, and then he complied. But they, uh, he had already been tased once, too, so I don't know if the, the second probe wasn't uh, in him on that first taser. And he's on his way down to the house, so who wants to go over there? I'll go with him. Somebody stay. Is that been searched? No. Yeah. Search it. I got a tow on the way. I'll go with you guys to meet Andy at the house. All right, you guys take that. Yep, I'll stay here. Take oh, they're about to go to the house. So why aren't you coming to my house and talk? Oh, that'll worked out. Mm -hmm. If you would have knocked on the door, I don't think you would have probably answered the door, would you? Yeah. Seems to be how it usually works. I don't know. It's not my case. I'm just saying that that'd be my first thought. Okay, let's just sit down for me, all right? That's part of the deal, remember? I'm not going anywhere. Okay, just have a seat for me. I don't think they would get any tighter. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be tight. They're not really made for comfort. So who is it that's coming to talk to you? It's an investigator with the La Crosse Police Department. Well, what's he want? That's what he's going to talk to you about, so I'm not going to, you know, go into his he stuff. He knows what's going on. I don't, I don't of course have the full story. Idiot. Actually, I don't know that much. But he knows it, so what's going it's on. It's going to be just stuff he needs to talk to you about. I think it'll all make sense to you eventually. I see. What was so hard about saying that? That the investigator was going to come talk to you? So would that, made any, have, would that have made any difference? Yeah, I mean, I mean, at least tell a guy what's going on, not just... If you want to go ahead and hop all the way in for me, okay? I guess he wants to talk to you at the sheriff's department, so that's what we're going to do, okay? We, we need to get going, I'm sorry. Bro. I'll let you have one, which is more yeah. than most officers would do, especially after you just ran from them and made you tase you. So, um, but anyway, I need you. I do need you to put your feet in the car so we can get going here, okay? Do you need a hand at all? You're kind of a big guy. Go ahead, take sir. it easy there. No duty. Okay, get in the car, Stanley. You really can't. Scoot all the way in, Stan. Hey, Stanley dripped out before we go to work, though. Just I said swing your feet around in front of you here, okay? Work, I can't feel my Man, if okay, they're, they're fine, Stan. I already checked them. The, the quicker you get in the car, the quicker we can get to the sheriff's department, and then we can get them. We can just take them right off. That you, okay? tight, Put your man. back up against the seat here, like how you would normally sit. I know it's a little tight, but I'm pretty sure you can get your butt over your back over against the back of the seat there, okay? And I do need you to do that right now. You know what I mean. Just slide that way. Try to get your back up against the back of the seat there for me. The search revealed a substantial quantity of meth mm. and an unknown substance, potentially meth or fentanyl. Mm. Due to indications of potential drug influence, he was transported to a hospital for a blood draw. So why don't you go ahead and have a seat back in there again for me and we're gonna head right to the hospital, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go head over to the hospital here. Law enforcement then rolled up to Stanley's residence and executed the search warrant. Julia answered the door and was subsequently arrested. Upon searching and tearing the living shit out of the residence, officers discovered multiple plastic bags containing illegal drugs and drug paraphernalia scattered throughout. More than three pounds of meth were seized, alongside with other substances, including heroin, fentanyl, Bro. and cocaine. Additionally, 
numerous empty bags commonly used for drug distribution were found, along with cash totaling over $49,000. 49 bands? He just got off, let out from prison. Her phone, revealing text messages related to drug transactions. Furthermore, a canine unit alerted officers to a vehicle parked outside the residence, where a search uncovered a one-pound package wrapped in black electrical tape suspected of containing methamphetamine. Julia was eventually taken into an interview room at the sheriff's office. However, she exercised her right to remain silent. Stanley was charged with felony counts of possession with intent, meth, fentanyl, maintaining a drug trafficking place, misdemeanor counts of resisting obstructing an officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, and operating with a restricted controlled substance, second offense all repeated charges. Mm. Julia was charged with felony counts of possession with intent, meth, fentanyl, maintaining a drug trafficking place, and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. All repeated charges too. Subsequently, both were each given a $500,000 cash bond and eventually indicted on federal drug charges, ultimately being found guilty. The third male who was with Stanley during his arrest was released on a $2,000 signature bond with mm. conditions. As of April 2024, Stanley received a federal prison sentence of 11 and a half years Ooh. to be followed by five years of supervised release. Julia, on the other hand, was sentenced to six and a half years in federal prison, also to be followed by five years of supervised release. Want a deeper look so into the chat? By the time he gets out, she's already done her sentence and probation. Man, they even do some time. Now, that was a lot. That was a lot. Like, I can see if they just had like a few, but that was a lot of stuff. They had a lot of stuff. Well, I guess that's good that. Won't put anybody else in danger. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you comment down below what you thought about it. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you watch one, two, three, maybe five, six, seven, eight more of my videos. I got plenty of them for you to watch. Hope you have a nice one. Takes Christmas sign out. Peace.